Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. In this video, I'm going to explain about determining food energy from the food nutrients. So, students of English versions, you know that this class is actually uh, explained under the playlist of food nutrition and digestions, which is SSC Biology Chapter 5. Or student of English versions, you know that nutrition is a bigger part of your syllabus, entire O-level biology syllabus. So uh, understanding nutrition is very important and in my previous classes that I'm explaining what is nutrition and the process of digestion and uh, of course uh, some, some elements, micro and macro elements that is required for plant growth. So in this tutorial I'm going to explain that how to determine the food energy that means the calorie or joule uh, in the food nutrients. So before going to explain this, one thing is important that the nutritionist usually use um, the unit which is kilojoule or kilocalorie. So you know that which is actually the unit of heat as a form of energy. So here we must know that 1000 calorie is 1 kilo calorie but whatever you see that any sort of uh, food ingredients that is ex explained in the written form of, of packet of any food you'll see this sort of you i mean unit is all well used kilocalorie or one thing is also important that we know one calorie is 4.18 joule so if I say that one kilo calorie, which is actually 4.18 kilo joule, I just multiplied by 1000 in both cases. So it will have 1000 multiplications that will be kilo calorie. And if you multiply 1000 here, it will be kilo joule. So kilo calorie or kilo joule, whatever the unit of food energy that we need to understand it, this is this one. Or if the question demand for what is the food energy in this food nutrients uh, in joule, then we can actually con uh, convert it into from calorie to joule by multiplying 4.12. So I hope you understand. And now think about these ingredients per gram and the calorie is required. Think about carbohydrate. One gram carbohydrate, it means four calorie. This is kilocalorie actually. One gram of protein is four kilocalorie and one gram of fat is nine calorie. Actually, we will say in case of calorie. So one gram carbohydrate four, one gram protein is four, and one gram fat is nine. But the thing is, we need to think how to determine it. Uh, in this case, a calculation is a very big factor here. Suppose a uh, single question is just written here. That is, suppose 30 gram flattened rice, you know flattened rice that is actually in our country in Bangladesh that said there's chira. So flattened rice contains 77% carbohydrate. So if a market 77% carbohydrate, 6.6% protein and rest of them are fat. So three ingredients are there. So protein, carbohydrate and fats are there. The question is that what is the calorie of 2 kg flattened rice so now question is what is the calorie of 2 kg flattened rice then what to do we need to think about that what is the percentage of grams of ingredients are present on the given data so you know that that 77 percent given 6.6% 6 .6 given so this is carbohydrate this is protein and it is said that rest of them are fat so what is the percentage of fat is present there so I must say this is 100 minus 100 minus 77 plus 6.6 .6. so it could be I mean here yeah, this is the percentage that is actually uh, in a uh, calculator that is so we can use 100 minus 77 plus 6.6 .6, which is 16.4 so we can say that 16.4 percent is the fat percentage 
16.4% is the fat percentage. Okay? So we got the data from the percentage and, and of course we definitely need to find out the mass, I mean the percentage of amount of ingredients in this 30 gram. So you know 77% is carbohydrate of that 30 gram flattened rice. 6.6% is protein of that 30 gram flattened rice and 16.4%. Now we need to think that carbohydrate percentage is 30 gram. So it's actually 77%. In case of protein, this is similar. 30 gram is the flattened rice but 6.6% are present there and then fat 30 gram and then this is 16.4%. Uh, now you think, now you think if you got 30 gram of 77% then 30 times 0.7 that is 21 gram. So 71% of 30 gram is 21 gram carbohydrate 6.6% of 30 gram is uh, okay 6.6 .6 times 30 that is actually 1.98 gram is fat there and now you think that the 16% of 30 gram is actually 4.8 gram so you got your 30 gram 30 together. So we know that this is the percentage of ingredients that is present in 30 gram flat and rice. And now you think the total calorie, this is 21 gram. 21 gram carbohydrate of 30 gram flat and rice. So now the calorie is 21 times 4 calorie. Now the calorie is 1.98 times 4 calorie. And again, 4.89 times 4 calorie. That is the main part right now. So this is 84. And uh, no, this is 4. Actually, this is 4.8 actually. 4.8 gram. So this is 4.8 gram. So 1 4.8 times 4. It's not 4 actually. That is fat. So it would be 9. So 4.8 times 9 is 43.2 calorie and here 1.98 times 4 is 7.92 calorie. Now we got the total calorie that is present in 30 gram flattened rice. So we can use it that 84 plus 7.92 plus 43.2 that is together 135 135.12 calorie is present in 30 gram flattened rice so now if you see the question is 2 kilogram so this 30 gram so you can say that 30 gram contains 135.12 calorie so 1 gram contain 135.12 by 30 and now we can say as it is 2 kilogram so that should be 2000 gram contain 135.12 times 2000 divided by 30 now you see that times 2000 divided by 30 that is 9008 calorie so you can say that 9008 calorie is present in 2 kilogram flattened rice and this is the equations and I hope you understand it nothing is serious but you see what I did the percentage was given in the data that 30 gram okay so 30 gram flattened rice was given if you have been given like any other percentage of any other mass of food 
think about three things that the percentage of carbohydrate percentage of protein and percentage of fat whatever you understand whatever you find the protein fat and carbohydrate then multiply by so we know that previously that 21 gram was present in in 30 gram of flattened rice so you can see that this 21 gram 1.98 gram and 4.1 gram together is 30 gram that is present here and the percentage was given so now I just multiplied with the calorie intake per gram and then I got all the calorie and then add it so you, I just got it per gram and then multiply by the amount of data is given the 2 kilogram that is 2000 gram or even you can find it in kilogram and then multiply by 2 both will be okay I mean there is no grammar of calculations but you can do it following the process so this is actually the determining food energy in the food nutrients calculations. So I hope you understand and of course do let me know if you don't understand anything and of course uh, let me know your next demand. I am uploading all the classes. You see the playlist in my uh, tutorials of all the playlist is arranged in a way that given numbers. So all the numbers means this is the chronology that I am uploading following the book syllabus and of course i'll come up with your next videos that is your demand and see you take care stay well